We have just entered a brand new era, the digital era where you can sit down anywhere in the world behind your laptop and make money by doing pretty much anything. I've seen a bunch of 18 year old dudes make tens of thousands of dollars per month by simply dedicating all their focus on the right business model. Over the last few years, I've seen a dozen of business models that you can try. We've got drop shipping, we've got Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, courses, YouTube automation, Instagram theme pages, whatever it is, you can make money. However, the most common ones that I've seen are drop shipping and YouTube automation. And recently, I have seen a very interesting shift from people moving from drop shipping to YouTube automation. So Pat was time to figure out why do they do this? Let's find out together. Before I reveal which biz models better, let's find out which metrics are used to determine that. Number one, startup cost. This is how much money you need to invest in order to get started with the business. Market cap. What is the competition like in this market? How popular and saturated is it? Scalability. How difficult is it to scale the business to $10,000 a month? Outsourceability. What is possible in terms of outsourcing in the business to other people? Location freedom. Do you have the freedom to work wherever you want with this business? Traffic source. What source do you use to drive traffic to your business? And then profit margins. What is the profit margin? margin per product or per video. In order to figure out which one is better, let's take a close look at the business models itself. First of all, what is drop shipping? Drop shipping is a business model where you build an online store, but you don't keep the products in stock. Meaning that you've got an online store, that store receives an order, and they forward them to external suppliers, which then directly ship out that product to the customer. Now the biggest difference between drop shipping and just normal selling is that the merchant doesn't keep the product in inventory. So there are three different parties involved. The customer, the retailer, which is the dropshipper, and the supplier. Therefore, the success of the entire operation depends on all of those people. Now, dropshipping definitely has some interesting benefits. Compared to starting a shop with inventory, there's not that much money needed. However, there's a problem that comes in to actually getting the sales. In order for you to get sales, you do have to spend quite some money if you do not have organic traffic. On the other side, you do have location freedom. You can pretty much run this business from anywhere in the world. Now, before we continue with the other benefits and pros, let's take a close look at YouTube automation. So YouTube automation is a business model where you don't start a channel yourself, like I'm doing right now, I'm showing my face. You create a channel, but you outsource the video production, meaning you don't have to show your face, you don't have to use your voice, and you never have to appear on camera or do any of the video part work. So you set up a channel, you hire freelancers, you pay the freelancers to make videos for you, those videos then end up on your channel, and if those videos generate revenue and end up making more revenue than you pay the freelancers per video, you've got yourself a profit. Now this might seem too easy, but hey, that's how it works. This channel right there is called Buddy Up, and this is a YouTube automation channel. As you can see, they've got a lot of subscribers that have a crazy amount of total views, meaning they've made a lot of money. The main benefits with YouTube automation is that you don't need to show your face on camera, but mainly instead of drop shipping, you don't need to worry about customers because you can monetize your videos with ads. You can do so by entering the YouTube partner program, which for you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of public watch time. So even though there are requirements to start making money, which you don't have with drop shipping, once you get into the program, you don't have to worry about getting customers. All you need to worry about is getting views. With dropshipping, you can decide to sell any part of that you would like to sell. With YouTube, you can go down at any niche that you want to go down in. Now, so far, all of it sounds quite good. So what is the catch? Starting a dropshipping business, as well as YouTube automation, isn't risk-free. But you're watching this video, and my goal is to provide with the information for you to not fail. They will get the profit margins, and that is an interesting one. The profit margins for dropshipping seem to be anywhere between 15 up to 50%, depending on how you run it and the skill you're doing it at. That right there is kind of normal in business. However, with YouTube automation, you can have as high as 90% profit margins, depending on how much you want to read best. But a video that would cost you $50 could go on to make $30,000 or even more. In fact, I got one video that cost me $20 and it made me over $30,000 in return. Just think about that ROI. That doesn't always happen, it's just an example, but the profit margins are much, much higher. Then you've got shipping problems, which once again, you won't have with YouTube automation if you simply put out a video and that's all you need to worry about. With drop shipping, you need to make sure that the product actually arrives, that the customer is happy. If that's not the case, once again, you've got a problem. Drop shipping is also highly competitive in the specific niche itself. YouTube automation can be competitive too. However, it's very easy to be better than your competitors if you know what to do. So to all of those recent things, YouTube automation 
is winning by far. Now the startup cost might be very similar to dropshipping in case you're buying ads. So for YouTube automation, you can spend about $50 per video. And you need to upload at least about four times per week, meaning you're going to be spending about seven, $800 per month. So is this perfect for complete beginners? No, you definitely have to have some side income that you can pour into YouTube automation for it to make sense. However, you could also start doing this the faithless way, which is actually what I had myself back in 2019 and early 2020. I started out making videos myself and then later on, I found out about what is now known as YouTube automation and started outsourcing the work. Apart from that, YouTube automation comes with, if you do it correctly, financial freedom, location freedom, as well as time freedom, because all you need to do, if you've got your team set up the correct way, is give them orders in terms of which videos need to be done and then upload those. I can confidently say that this is paid for my entire lifestyle. If I chill for a week, I've got my teams running the stuff to the back end and I'm gonna be totally fine. With all that being said, let's take a look at my final conclusion. The startup cost for dropshipping can vary between $100 up to $1,000, depending on whether you wanna go with organic traffic or ad. For YouTube automation, this will be at least 500 up to $800. The market cap. Dropshipping is a highly competitive market. Once you find a product that works, other people are going to come in, spend more money on ads, and outcompete you. With YouTube automation, that is not the case. Once you've got a successful channel, other people could not destroy it by simply pouring more money into it. Yes, they might be able to make better videos, but hey, your channel's still out there, and them succeeding doesn't mean that you're not going to succeed. People can watch multiple channels and a ton of videos per day. So it's not just this product or that product. Then we've got scalability. Dropshipping is kind of difficult to scale up. You need to have capital, otherwise it's not going to work. You need to keep buying ads so that you can make more money. Whereas with YouTube, it's kind of very easy because the profit margins are much higher. But the more profit, the more you can reinvest without it hurting the business, meaning you can keep growing like crazy. Then we've got the outsource ability. I would say with dropshipping, you can definitely outsource this to a certain point. With YouTube automation, you can pretty much outsource anything. At the end of the day, those are kind of equal. Building a business always comes down to outsourcing, so you can always outsource whatever you want to. It just comes down to how much responsibility you want to give away. Location freedom. With dropshipping, you absolutely have location freedom. You can do it from anywhere as long as you've got internet connection. The same goes for YouTube automation. In that sense, they're totally equal. Profit margins. Now, this one is the one I told you about. For dropshipping, it's about 15 up to 50%. For YouTube automation, it can start at 50, but it can go all the way up to about 90%, which is pretty insane. Taking a look at the traffic source, dropshipping is paid, meaning you have to pay to play in terms of getting the sales. Whereas with YouTube automation, you don't need sales, you are gonna get organic traffic, but you have to pay for the videos to go up. So in some sense, they're kind of similar, but also they're not. I think it's safe to say there's a clear reason why I see a lot of people that have done dropshipping in the past now switch over to YouTube automation as a business model is less complicated, it's less of a headache, plus the money that's necessary in order to do this is either similar or much less. Learn more about YouTube automation right here.